Uh, and yes. Well, to part four, people. Where we're going to be tackling surface fire. Ah, uh, you just love that medley, don't you? And yeah, this one is in fact a hack of millipede. It's the exact same thing except with different graphics and an extremely long song on the title screen. But yeah, you blow up some stuff. I like how the spiders were changed to tanks in this game, by the way. I saw the name surface fire, it just sounds vaguely cool, but it at the same time it sort of doesn't. I don't get that, but it's just me. Surface fire. Come to a similar year, you. Starring Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. And Sylvester Sloan's cousin. I might as well be Sylvester Sloan's cousin if it's Surface Fire. Um, Yeah. And yes, you dodge green donuts or something. And that's pretty much what you do here. There's not much more to say. And I'm gonna die. So let's move on to the next game, TNT! Uh, I feel that was worth a second listen to, even though that one is vaguely different. And yes, in this game you play as a weird looking nerdy guy with green hair. Kind of reminds you of the bloke from Ooze. Except, uh. Okay, why did the enemy disappear then? That doesn't even make any sense. I know that never happened in Bombman, that's for sure. Maybe it's Sprite Limits or something, I don't know. Notice of that music. <laughs> I can't love that. But yeah, you go, it's just the same thing as Cole Coffer with different graphics and slightly different music once again. In fact, I actually saw a video of this game on YouTube is in this hack and they actually forgot to change um, the ending. I'm not going to spoil the ending for anyone that's wanting to complete this game, as in Bomb Man. But, um, let's just say they forgot to change it. Because they were lazy buggers, as they've shown themselves to be already. <laughs> Once again, wonderful music. And yes, I go around laboriously trying to kill these orange blob things. Also, where the hell is this place anyway? It looks like some sort of town or something, but it's difficult to tell because the graphics don't make much sense. And yes, yeah, so I once again go around trying to find the power up. Yep, and I just give up because screw it. A for one! Or A for Cavas if you prefer. To start push! Push what? <laughs> Whatever. Yep, and then you have this idiot in shades. Run up to some sort of weird gong. He bangs the gong and he covers his ears. And, uh. Ready, Ares, free left! Ah, uh, don't you just love this hack music? Yep, flying, flying helicopters in space. Which is funny, because last time I checked, helicopters come flying space. Why the green anyway? Oh yes, and a good tip for this game, don't crash to the enemies because you'll lose a lot of power. If you run out of power, you die. Not like it matters though, because this game is pretty odd anyway, so meh. Unless you go to the bottom right corner of the screen, but I didn't bother doing that on this play, on this play because I figure I might as well try to do it legitimately, and I failed. So next game is, uh, Bandits. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, apparently it's, uh, it's a really badly drawn Donkey Kong. Seriously, again, I could probably draw better than that. <laughs> so yes, it's just Donkey Kong free, except with really ugly graphics. See, even most of the music is unchanged from the original. And seriously, what the hell is up with the colouring in this game? Like, why is the background grey? Why is Donkey Kong blue and grey? 
And pink. Doesn't make any sense. There we go. Stage 2 complete. Oh, and of course you have to defend your money bags. For whatever reason. Apparently you're... I mean, why is this a bank with some sort of weird gun that sort of shoots air? I don't get it, but whatever. This is non concrete, vaguely made sense. And bounce! Once again, great background to lose. And yeah, this one is Hack of Mappy. And again, I'm sure I've shown this one before. Except there, the graphics were slightly ugly, and whoa, that was a big bonus. So I was due that after playing so badly at this. So yes, and I do that because I'm an idiot. But I got 1,650 points, so I don't care. Contact energy. Yep, it's that hack of a load runner once again. Featuring Bomb Man's head with Mario's body. Yay, bad music. And yep, this one is a hack of a load runner. As you can see, apparently... Yeah, this is what happens when you combine Mario with Bomb Man and just edit sprites in five minutes. You get content energy. Along with those green things which sort of look like giant apples with limbs. Or whatever. And yes, I go around owning green apples because I can. See? They can't stop me. Why? Because I'm a deformed Mario and therefore I deserve to win. And I did that because I'm an idiot. But yes, you do this some more. That one drops the... And the and I did that again because I'm an idiot. And he does that because he's an idiot. And, uh, yep, I collect some more blue things off key music. And, uh, yes, you climb up to exit the stage. And, well, that's a lot of enemies killed, isn't it? And, yeah. And yet, stage 2 is more the same, so I'm not even going to bother. UFO race. Now, I actually have this on um, my 84 in 1. Except there it was called um, Boat Race and it had different graphics. And um, the music was unchanged. Now one thing that you might notice right away is that at the top right, is that at the top right of the screen it says Scrow is supposed to score. Which is kind of funny because in the original game it was spelled correctly. And uh, yeah, again this is a hack of F1 race. And uh, well, it's a little better than the other one I guess. The sound effects are the same, as opposed to. Yeah, I can't do it. It goes. Something like that. It's less annoying here. Um, and yeah, this is, boat race is pretty much the same thing as this, except you are, instead of UFOs, it's UFO shaped boats. And uh, of course, you're like traveling on water as opposed to space, as you might be able to guess. Although, funny enough, both games do have the uh, scroll typo. Or spelling error, shall I say. And, um. Oh, and the uh, music in both races are uh, unchanged from the original F1 race. I love that, by the way. When you go to stage 2, it calls itself stage 1. But they just put. Reminds me of um, Action 52. Marsman! You're in a melon. Why not? Yep, it's a really bad hack of Binary Land. Instead of playing as penguins, you play as um, Mars men, I guess. Oh no. Funny enough, there's another hack of this where the characters were renamed to Joe and Phil, funny enough. So apparently that version promotes gay sex, who knows. But um, there you go, room 2 is more the same, so uh, on to the next game. Riska! Can you guess what it is yet? If not, I'll give you a clue. It has bikes, and it excites. Yep, that's right, it's an excite bike. Or the car. Why is there a car instead of a bike? I don't know. And why is the background pink and orange anyway? It just looks ugly. Yeah, this is just the exact same thing as an excite bike, except the graphics are so ugly in this one. 
I mean, as in, like, compared to the original course, I mean, I'm not exactly comparing this to a PS3 or anything. It's just seems like bother with new consoles, mostly. I used to play the Xbox 360, and I don't know, I got bored of it. But, um, yeah. Here you go, you, uh... I'll just do some more excite bike racing, because I excite at this. Or well, maybe not. Another thing that I noticed with this hack is that, um, the, the... Is that the font that the user of this game is different to one that they use in all the other ones. Not really, I'm not really entirely sure why. And whoa, that was some huge air that was... I was over that grey deck side bike, but I can do the first course pretty well. And, uh, yeah. Here we go, I f do some more of this racing some more. And, there we go, course one finished. Yep. It's a new record! Isn't that great? Try the next track. I'm not going to. <laughs> I love that, by the way, it says excite bike on the screen. <laughs> wow, laser hacking or what? Gunfigant! Yay for typos. Can you guess what this one is? Time you, gunman! Yep, this one is a hack of war gunman. Except... <laughs> except the best drum solo in history. And racism. You should just look at that guy's face and tell me that the crazies weren't being racist. Incidentally, um, I can't actually play this game because the emulator that you have to use to run this game doesn't support the uh, light gun peripheral, I don't think. So, um, next game is a uh, Space War. Yep, this one's a heck of a Xyrian, as you might be able to guess from the music. So yes, uh, for those who don't know what Xyrian is, it's a pretty simple shooting game where you fly around shooting at things. It's kind of like Galaxian, except you can uh, move around and it has pretty slippery controls. Although, to be honest, I prefer this game over Galaxian. As much as people are going to hate me for saying that, but that's just my opinion. I don't know. Personally, I just love the, uh, I just love the pace this game moves at. But yeah, it's just Xyrian with ugly graphics, essentially. But, uh, and yeah, I've got nothing else to say about this game, so uh, I think I'll just let you watch me play this thing for a bit more. So I'll see you in uh, part 5, I think. Mm-hmm. 